Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are going to make a unicorn horn and unicorn ears that you can add to any project. First you need to make sure that you have a worsted weight yarn. I'm using white um, Brava worsted for my ears. For my horn I am using this scrap gold yellow that I had on hand. I like it because of the flecks of yellow. I think it makes the horn really pop. You will also need a stitch marker to make your horn, and you will need a crochet hook in size J, six millimeter, and a G, four millimeter. In order to make the ears, we are going to start with a magic circle. So I take the left hand, or the left side of my yarn, I'm going to put it over these two fingers here. I'm gonna make a big X like this. And I'm going to hold this yarn just like this with my tail over here wrapped around and put to the other side. I'm going to take my hook here, come under, and then I'm going to chain one to lock it in place. If you need a tutorial for the full magic circle, which is a phenomenal way to start crocheting in rounds, um, I do have a full magic circle tutorial as well. So now I'm going to do a chain one. I'm going to do four half double crochets in the circle. So one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to take this tail that I have from my magic circle. I'm just going to pull it nice and tight. And now I'm going to find the first half double crochet of the row that I did. I find that I, it helps me to count backwards, actually. So I've got one, two, three, four. This is my first one that I made right here. I'm going to join using a slip stitch, going under both sides of that stitch. Just join to the last. So that is the first row or round of our unicorn ear. So now I'm going to chain one, and I'm not going to turn or anything, but I'm going to place two half double crochets in each of those four that I just made. So I'm going to go one, two in the same spot. I'm going to go to the next one, put two in there. And then the next one, I'm going to put two in there, and in the last one, two in there as well. So if I had four and I put two in each of these, that means that at the end of round two here, I should have eight stitches total. Perfect. I'm going to join to the top of the first stitch of that row, and now I'm ready for round three. It doesn't look like much and it won't for a while. It's got that, if you pop it one way or the other, it's got a little point. This is going to be the top of our ear here. For round three, we're going to chain one. We're gonna half double crochet in the next, or the first, this one right here. We're gonna half double crochet in that one. And now we're going to two half double crochet in the next one, so one, and two in that same stitch. And we're gonna do this all the way around. So now one in this one, and now two in the next one. One, two. Do that again. Two in this one. One in this one and two in the last one. Now we have 12 stitches. I'm going to join to the top of my first half double crochet of the row. Awesome. Now we're going to do one more set of increases. This is our last increase row for the whole ear. We're going to chain one for round four. Now we're going to half double crochet in the first two stitches and then two half double crochet in this one. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around. So one in this one, one in this one, and two in this one. 
one in this one, and one in this one, and two in this one. Same thing, one, one, two. And one more time, one, two, and then two in this one. And now we are ready to join to the top of the first half double crochet here. And that is the end of round four. Now for the rest of our ear, we're going to do rounds five, six, seven, eight, and nine, straight up half double crochet. No turning, no increasing. We're going to continue having 16 stitches in rounds five, six, seven, eight, and nine. When you get done with round nine, it should kind of look like a cone like this. It looks a little funny, but if you lay it flat and you fold it in half a little bit, you can see that it's got that really great ear, like horse ear shape, right? So we're gonna fold it in half a little bit so that it's got that, that horse look to it. You can shape it a little bit. One thing that I do want to note is that when you go to sew these on, you need to make sure that you're clipping enough yarn to give you enough to securely, very securely, sew these ears onto whatever project you're sewing them onto. So definitely make sure that you are leaving yourself enough yarn in order to fasten it to your crocheted project. I'm going to pull my yarn tail through and just leave it a nice, finished edge here. Now I'm going to show you the magic circle is a great way to start your projects, but you do want to make sure that you have everything woven in well. So here's the magic circle where I started. I'm going to take my tail and I'm still going to pull it just a little bit tighter. Now what I do with my magic circles is I take my yarn needle and thread it. And then I make sure, because the magic circle can always come undone, it's not actually secured until you finish weaving in all of your ends. So what I like to do is I like to take my yarn needle and just go around the first round here and just very securely weave in my yarn end going multiple ways or through multiple stitches to make sure that it's not going to come undone. And then we can snip that, pop your ear back right side out, and now we are ready to secure our adorable little unicorn ear to our little unicorn head. Now let's make us a horn. Now with the horn, I do go down to a smaller hook. I use a G four millimeter hook for this because I don't want the holes in the horn where my stitches are um, to have my stuffing start peeking out or anything like that. So it's important to make your stitches tighter. So I do go down a quite a few hook sizes to the four millimeter. You also need a stitch marker to make this horn. You're going to mark the first stitch of every row um, as you are working it. So. To start, we're going to do the magic circle just like we did with the ears where we have the tail going through over here on the left in between those two fingers. And I'm going to wrap it around and make a big X. I'm gonna take my hook, I'm gonna go under the first one and hook the second one and just pull it straight on through like this. And now I'm going to chain one to secure it. So that is the magic circle. Now I'm going to do, without chaining or anything, I am going to do four single crochets in my circle. And that's number four. So now I am ready for row two. You might think, oh my goodness, this looks weird. Let's pull it. Pull it nice and tight. So now it looks better. Ta-da! So now we are going to find the first stitch that we made um, on the last row, so this one over here. And we're gonna do two single crochets in each one of these four that we just made. When I make my first one, going into the first stitch here, I am going to use a stitch marker and mark that stitch. Okay, there's number one. So I'm gonna mark my stitch. 
so that I do not forget that because this whole horn we are not joining or anything. So there's number two. It's a little tight, which is good, right? And then we have number three and four in the same. And then number five and number six. And then we have two more in this last stitch here, which is number seven and number eight. So now I have eight stitches on my horn. For rows three through five, so three, four, five, I'm going to just do my eight stitches. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, with solid half double crochet, or solid single crochet, no increasing or anything. So I'm gonna have one here, and I'm going to mark that stitch. So here I am starting round five. This is my first stitch. So I'm gonna mark it. And continue on with my eight stitches. And before we get too far, on after round five, I'm going to stop and we are going to weave in the tail on the inside. This tail that's right here, we're gonna go in and weave that in because we do not need that hanging out. And before we get too far, that's the end of my round five. Now before we get too far, let's pop it back inside out. And I know this is why we do this now is because it's already kind of difficult to do. Look at that little thumb hat, isn't that cute? <laughs> so let's take our yarn tail here that we have from creating our magic circle. And we're just gonna weave in that end. You don't have to do it super secure. And you always should but pull it just a little bit tight and then just weave it around a few times just through the end here just so that's not going anywhere And then even when you clip this yarn, you don't have to cut it super close. You can leave a little bit of an end there. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's gonna be inside with the stuffing anyway. So now let's flip it back to right side out and continue making our horn. So now we are ready for round six, which is an increase row. Let's get all situated again. There we go. I'm gonna take out my stitch marker and start round six. Now for round six, I'm going to do two single crochets in the first. Let's mark that first one that I just did. There we go. Now I'm going to single crochet in the next three stitches. Now I'm gonna two single crochet in the next. One, two. And I'm gonna single crochet in the next three stitches and that should get me to the end of the row. So one, and two, and three. Take that out and start round seven. Now round seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 are all going to be single crochet rows. So all we're doing is adding height to it. So no increasing, no decreasing, no nothing. We're just gonna go start with seven and go all the way through 12 and mark our first stitch of each row every time. All right, so I've just finished my round 12. I am ready to start round 13, which is an increase row. So I've removed my stitch marker, and for row 13, round 13, I'm going to start with two single crochets in the first. One, two, and the same stitch. I'm gonna mark that first stitch that I made, right there, and I'm gonna single crochet in the next two stitches, one in each. Now I'm going to two single crochet in the next. I'm gonna single crochet one in the next two stitches. And then a two single crochet in the next. Single crochet in the next two stitches. And 
and two single crochet in the last. And now for rounds 14 through 20, I'm just going to add height again. So that's all I'm going to be doing for the next 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 row or seven rows until I get to 20 straight up single crochet, no increasing, no nothing. We're just adding length. All right, so this is the end of my round 20. So I am going to, I'm ready to fasten off. If you're going to make your horn taller, you can see it's how it's kind of misshapen and that's good because we're gonna make it spiral here in a minute and it's gonna look way more like a horn um, than it does right now. <laughs> Have faith, my friend. So we're going to take our yarn and we're gonna clip it pretty long because we need enough yarn to both wrap it around the horn all the way to the top, to feed it through the top and then feed it back down and sew it onto our project. So you need to make sure that you have a decent amount of yarn over here that's ready to go, right? Now we're going to, I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm just gonna slip stitch and pull this yarn all the way through the whole tail, okay? So now we are done with our crochet hook. We do wanna go ahead and uh, thread our yarn needle because you don't wanna have to do that in a minute. Go ahead and thread your yarn needle. Okay, so we got that ready to go. Now we're going to stuff our horn. You can either use polyfill stuffing like I am using today, just regular stuffing, or you could use um, stuff from the uh, like extra yarn scraps. So if you had a lot of extra yarn in your yarn ball left over, you could use that to stuff it, or you can use any other yarn scraps that you've got. So start small because you don't wanna put a huge glob in there and then not be able to get it all the way to the tip of the horn. So start small with your stuffage. Let's get a little bit more for me. I don't want it completely spilling out the bottom, but I do want it like just like this to where I can put it onto my crochet piece and keep that stuffing in there. Um, but I don't want it completely spilling out. I do want it nice and Full though because when we use the yarn tail here in a second to wrap it around it it's going to get a little bit smaller so let's stuff it just a little bit more all right that looks pretty good that looks nice and full like if you squeeze it it's it's coming out the end right so now we are ready to start wrapping to create the spiral effect. So I'm holding it tight with my left hand here and with my right hand, I'm going to take this yarn and I'm going to tightly spiral around the crochet, okay? Very tightly. And we can pull this tighter here in a second. Go ahead and start cinching it up. I think the spiral really helps give it the horn look. Pull that nice and tight, don't break your yarn. But when you get up to the end here, where your yarn is right at that tip, once you're happy with the spiral of it, if I, if I was doing this for a project, I would probably redo this right now because I'm not very happy with it. But pull your yarn a little bit tighter so that it's got that really nice delineated spiral effect, right? Doesn't that look so much better? And then where your yarn needle is. I'm going to pull this all the way up to well, that this is right at the top of that. And now since I've already done my yarn needle, I'm going to feed this through the top, the very top. That's my magic circle where we started the horn. And I'm going to pull this yarn through and I'm still holding it really tight with my left hand so that none of these spirals come undone. But I'm pulling this and I'm just going to pull it like, like this. And when you pull it up like this, it gives it even more of a spirally look, right? So like I said, I would probably redo this if I was going to actually sew it to a project, but that is how you get the spirally look um, of it. So now I'm going to feed my yarn tail through a couple times at the tip so that it stays in position, right? And look at that, isn't that great? I love it. So now I'm going to feed my yarn back through the horn all the way down so that I can use it to sew it onto my project, whatever that may be. And we're almost done. There we go. Bring it out through here. There we go. Ta-da! 
And now we can use this down here with these stitches to sew it to the actual hood or pillow or headband or whatever you're putting this on. So here we are with our adorable little unicorn horn and our ears. When you sew these onto your projects, I like to uh, squeeze them in half like this and kind of set them up. Um, not completely 100% because I feel that lo that looks more like a bunny rabbit, but um, just kind of halfway closed like this. And then it does help if you use sewing pins to hold this in place as you are sewing securely to your piece, uh, whatever you're adding your horn and your ears to. So I hope that you enjoyed this unicorn tutorial and I look forward to crocheting with you more soon. Thank you for watching.